Okay, so in this video, we're going to talk about creating memberships, uh, memberships that you sell at your business, and just typically having the membership template ready to go. Uh, these are time savers so that you can just simply select the membership uh, anytime you want. You can always have the option to edit these, uh, but they're more or less templates to save you time. And I'm going to explain this a little further. Now, right now we are currently on the office and we are looking at our contacts so when we want to create memberships uh, create our membership templates we would simply go to memberships now we see a list of memberships here already that are, have been created for us already and you're gonna see some uh, right out of the box when you get perfect mind just basic memberships uh, examples and you obviously would go in here and you would simply create the memberships that you sell at your business now what we want to do here when we want to add a membership to the membership list we simply click the plus sign here we click the plus sign and from here we simply have to give our membership a name so say for instance we'll call this test now description is if you want to sell memberships online like say for instance a martial arts school may want to sell a one month trial package online uh, they could simply put a description here and then you can simply choose over here who you want to sell it to you do have the option to choose just staff you can choose just members or you can choose the public so in this case, if it were the public, you would put it online on your website uh, and people could go in here and they could purchase it directly off your website. You could give special pricing just specifically for your members as well. Uh, staff, obviously only the staff would see it. Now, program and style. Uh, again, this relates to uh, most membership-based businesses, um, especially martial arts. You could pick a specific style that this membership was for. Uh, from here, you could set a duration of days. Now, duration of days would set an expiry date. So if I simply put 365 here, this membership will expire in one year. Uh, likewise, if it were six months, I might put 180. Now, number of lessons. Number of lessons allows you to do like a punch pass uh, type scenario. So each time they attend, it would count down. So say for somebody who was going to come in and say, for instance, buy 10 yoga classes, you could have number of lessons 10 each time the person attends it would simply count down their lessons now over here you could choose the number of payments so say for instance I was going to have a membership that was going to last for one year uh, we can remove the number of passes we'll say it's just going to be a one year membership I could simply say number of payments could be 12 now from here I would obviously have to change the payment pattern and I could change the payment pattern now to monthly. So now it would be 12 payments for 365 days. From here I can set my price. So say for instance the total value of the membership was $1,200. So now if it's $1,200, it's going to be 12 payments of $100. Now, here I can set a pay now. So for tho those of you who have a membership-based business where you would say, for instance, make, the, make your client pay uh, their first payment the moment they signed up, you may want to put $100 right here. And in turn, you would change the number of payments here to 11. That way, it's still 12 payments of $100. You have 11 payments here, one payment here. So again, it depends on how you set up your membership. If you choose not to do a pay now and say for instance you just want 12 monthly payments going out on a specific date, say for instance it was the second of the month and you want their payments to go out on the fifth, you would leave pay now as zero and put number of payments to 12. And in this case, you would have the option to choose a date in the future in which to bill them. Now that would be for a membership that has an expiry date. Different scenario now. If, say, for instance, we wanted to sell an, an ongoing membership, on, like, say, for instance, a month-to-month -month basis. So ongoing simply means it continues to bill until you say stop. So in this case, when you select ongoing, you would remove the duration of days because ongoing, you don't know when the person's going to expire. So if you checkbox ongoing now, we see 
the duration of days vanishes. Okay, so this membership will continue to bill until you terminate it. Now again, you can add a program or style to the membership, and again, you can choose a payment pattern. Now, one thing to be aware of here, when you're doing ongoing, the price is no longer the total value. The price is going to be the monthly payment or whatever payment pattern you should choose. But you have to make sure that the payment pattern, if it's monthly, then the price has to be the monthly amount. So going by the same scenario we were doing before, we would simply change this to 100. Again, you would have the option to set a pay now if you wanted the person to make their first payment the moment they purchased this membership. So the way it is set up now is we have our membership. It's going to be ongoing. It's going to be monthly. Uh, and it's going to be $100 per month and it will continue to bill month to month to month to month until you decide to cancel it. From here you would simply click save and from there your membership would appear along with the rest of the templates here. Now in the future video I'm going to show you exactly how you sell these memberships.